All right. Here goes nothing. I don't know what I'm going to say or where I should begin. So I'd like to start this video off by showing you. You know what this is? This is $50 worth of spam. Funny, right? I felt like an absolute idiot uh, buying this today. That's what $50 worth of spam looks like. It might last my family two weeks if we portion it correctly. If we're real strict, this might last my family two weeks. Now, the reason why I show you that, well, I'll show you this too. I already got it pulled up. I might as well show it to you. Um, here, check this out. This is my Instagram, by the way. All right, here we go. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. All right, that's enough. That's just something I did for Instagram because I was bored. Maybe it might inspire somebody. So, why is John X Army got $50 worth of spam? Well, $50 is the extra money I have to spend for the week. And recently, I was convinced by a very, very intelligent person, by a very wealthy person, I was convinced that the US economy, the global economy, could possibly crash within the next 60 to 90 days. And when I say crash, um, insider whistleblowers, uh, I don't know, leakers, whatever you want to call them, people in the know are telling each other that it's going to be so bad that people are going to eat each other. After the first week um, with store shelves empty and, and the infrastructure of America beginning to crumble, um, people are going to be stealing from each other. And after the second week, people are going to be beating each other for food, going house to house for food. And by the third or fourth week, wives are going to come to their husbands and they're going to say, John, the baby's malnourished. She needs to eat or she's going to get sick. And the dads aren't going to know what to do. Americans are going to eat each other, I'd imagine. Give it a month or two in the cold of winter. And it's going to get real ugly real fast. And then, when we're at our weakest point, and the infrastructure is non-existent and people are cold and they're hungry and they're starving. Outside forces are going to invade. Let me give you guys a little secret. This is something somebody told me today. The most guns ever sold in U.S. history were sold during Obama's presidency. But wait, weren't we worried Obama was going to take the guns away? Yeah. That was part of their game. They needed to arm as many Americans as possible. Not for good. Not so we can defend our country. But so when the global reset begins, we will kill each other. By the time foreign forces move in, a lot of the work will be done. There will be a lot of people gone and down already. Eventually, those same people that use guns against fellow Americans 
to protect their self, to feed their family. Those same people are going to turn in their guns and their ammunition for food. And this is much later. And this has all been part of the plan. The plan was to find ways to get more people armed. They were never going to take guns away. They only wanted you to believe they were. And I'm all for guns. 100%. I am pro-gun, if you don't know. Um, and I think the two signs that I would watch for to know when it's beginning is not when all the good YouTube channels get deleted and censored. That's only digital. I'm sure that'll happen too. The YouTubers who really know what's going on and I'm going to say it again, the Richie from Boston's, because some of you guys don't like him. But let me tell you what I hear from every single video he has put up. Get prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared. We're out of time. Get prepared. Every single video. And I'm at the point where I refuse to follow anyone on YouTube or social media that is not telling me to get prepared. If you're not telling me to buy food and ammunition, I can no longer watch your channel. If you're not telling me to network with my fellow Americans around me, I can no longer watch your channel because it's all distractions, it's all nonsense. My moon video, it's got what, 250,000 views right now? Nonsense. Distraction. Aliens. Nonsense. Distraction. It's all a distraction. Everything. TV. The president. Who's the, the stock market. It's all a distraction to keep us busy right until the last minute. Now here's the choice I've been given. Go right up, walk right up to the slaughterhouse, making YouTube ad revenue the whole time. And, and you read my emails, brother. Keep the masses positive, smiley face. Fear is food. Don't feed them, Jonathan. Let's create our future. I can either continue to make nonsense YouTube videos right up until the moment that time's up, which is something so horrible's coming. You can't comprehend what's about to happen. Um, and I can either continue to make nonsense clickbait videos right up until the moment the switch gets flipped. Or I can change right now. And the content will be different for a reason. And it won't get 200,000 views anymore or 100,000 views anymore. It might get 8,000. But those 8,000 views are going to count. And let me go back. I said there were going to be a couple signs, right? I'm not talking about social media censorship. If my channel or other channels get deleted, I'm not saying that that is the sign, although I do think that's going to happen. When people like me disappear from real life, I think that might be like a dead man switch. That if they come in the middle of the night and get everybody who has a loud voice who tries to speak truth, when we disappear in the middle of the night without any warning, we're just gone. There's no way to get in touch with us. We're gone. Expect the reset button, the grid to go down ASAP.
probably within hours. When your favorite truthers disappear, and I'm not talking about being deleted on social media. I'm talking about when, when that knock comes in the middle of the night and they get rounded up and not just truthers. You might see other people get rounded up too. When that knock comes in the middle of the night and they disappear and you don't hear those voices telling you to prepare anymore, you know it's time. That's the dead man switch. You know it's time. Now, um, my Patreons, this is not a plug. This did not happen on purpose. But I have so many people messaging me, so many people emailing me, Instagramming me, Twittering me, Patreoning me. I have so many people at me all day. I don't have time to focus on everybody. So the way things just ended up playing out was I ended up out of good moral character responding to the patrons before anyone else because they pay. So I don't do it as a shield tactic. I do it because they're paying for a reason to have my ear. So by the time I've, for the past week, got done with them, I have no energy, no time left to go through my other 500 emails and my social media. I haven't even been checking anything, and I'm sure some of you realize that. I'm sorry. Now, my John X Army chat room holds 200 people. Matter of fact, let me pull that up on the screen. Um, hold on, I don't want to leak information of people's names. My John X Army chat room holds 200 people. You can get the link to this chat room by being a Patreon. Right now we have 108 members. There are 80 slots left in this chat room. And that's it. And this is not a shill tactic. I am being honest with you like I always am. I am going to answer the Patreons before anyone else. And it just so happened that in doing that, we have built an awesome community, an awesome chat room where we're sharing information, we're helping each other. And the minute you talk to my Patreons, you'll know that I'm not full of BS right now. And there's reasons for that. Reasons I can't share with everybody on YouTube. I know barely anything. But I know that a reliable person who I have researched has opened the doors for me and given me a choice. Walk up to the guillotine. Make an ad revenue the whole time until they flip off the grid and die a sleaze ball or change right now and focus your content on saving lives well what do we got to do to save lives step number one every human being needs six months of food put up if you're gonna make it through what's coming without starving to death you're going to need six months worth of food. And I don't know where you're going to get it. I don't have a deal to sell you any food. I don't have a website to send you to where you use a John X Army link. This is not that. And if the only thing that I think is going to be important for the next year of your life is six months worth of food, what goes right along with that? What are you going to need to protect your food? That's all I'll say. How are you going to protect your six months worth of food? I have a powerful message. And my content is going to be honed to a fine point. Videos are going to come out for specific reasons. Giving more and more information about what's happening right up until it happens. And it's coming soon. And it's absolutely terrifying. And it's worse than anything you can imagine. But we're not going to talk about the bad parts. I just need you to know the urgency. The urgency, okay? 5G, um, 
the chip everybody's worried about, FEMA camps, that comes after the grid goes down, months and months later. There's a whole lot of troubles to get to before they're going to depopulate the planet, before 5G is a threat. Um, they're going to depopulate the planet before the chip comes out. They're going to depopulate the planet. and they're, I don't know. I, and uh, you need to have six months worth of food prepared. And you need to have a way to protect your food. I have nothing to sell you. I have nothing to sell you. This is not a promotion. Um, I do not expect this to go viral. I know YouTube statistics. I know what goes viral. And this does not go viral. This will be lucky. Uh, this will obviously get demonetized. I plan on that. I'll be lucky if this does not get deleted or something for some unknown community guideline strike. Like, I don't know. Is I, I don't know. Um, what I do know is about 60 of my Patreons have went out and spent about $100 worth of uh, food to prep with in the past two days also because we've all been communicating. So what I do know is no matter what you think of me, no longer what you think of, no matter what you think of my channel, I know as of right now, I have helped 65 people that when the power goes off and it's cold and it's winter and there's no cell phone service, I know that 65 families are going to think of me because I told them, How long do we have, honestly, bro? Go get food. Oh, we're lucky if we have three months. Three months is stretching it. Three months is stretching it. Now, I'm going somewhere. In a little over a week, I am taking a trip to meet someone in person who has a lot more information. They would like to work with me and hone down to make a plan how we are going to do this and how we can maximize our effects to reach the most amount of people. No more bull, no more bull crap videos, no more, I don't know, no, no more clickbait, no more aliens or demons, aliens do exist, aliens don't exist, no more riding the fence, no more playing games, no more, no more none of it. We are out of time. And if I'm wrong, thank you, Jesus. If this person is wrong, and doesn't have insider information, thank you, Jesus. I get to raise my daughter and enjoy our life. But if there's any chance at all that this person is right, and this person is credible, this person is wealthy, this person is intelligent, this person is sane, this person is on the outer limits of what I would call the insider circle, this person is above me. This person is in a position to get information that I could never come across. And the person is more intelligent than me. And I believe 100% that he's absolutely correct. And we are out of time. So, even he wasn't sure about Richie from Boston when he asked me what other channels can I reach out to to help save lives. He said, oh, I don't know about that guy. I said, no, let me tell you something. Every freaking video that dude does tells people we are out of time. Get prepared. You see me running around making contacts in the real world. So in my book, if you're not telling people we're out of time and you should be storing food and something to protect your food, do you know what I'm saying? If that person is not telling you that, they're no good. Unfollow them. If that person is trying to plug, buy food from Army Surplus Supply and use code John X Army to save 50%, unfollow them. I am telling you, take 
every single dime you have and go buy food. Go buy food. Every extra cent you can spare, go buy food. I just heard something. I'm here alone. Thought I just heard a voice. I'm of sound body, sound mind. 100% sober. I am not depressed. I am not planning to hurt myself or anyone else. Um, I don't, I don't own weapons. I don't believe in weapons. But on the slim chance that the economy is about to have the switch flipped, and that our grid is about to have the switch flipped and go down, and America, the infrastructure is about to fall apart. On that slim chance. I am buying food. I know what hunger is. I've been hungry. I practice fasting. And let me tell you, the first week, people are going to be going door to door begging. The second week, people are going to be breaking in and running off when you yell at them. The third week, people are going to break in and hurt you for your food. The fourth week, they're going to be killing for food. Then, by the middle of winter, when they're starving and there's no food to be stolen, they're going to eat each other. And then a foreign entity is going to come in and save the day after us Americans have already used our weapons on each other. When we're at our weakest, they're going to come in. And those bankers that rule the world the ones we broke away from, from England, to found this country, they didn't forget. They didn't forget that we spit in their face and founded America. They didn't forget that they came over here and got whooped. Now, I'm not saying that England's the enemy. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying everybody hates us. Russia hates us. China hates us. The UN's crazy and wants to depopulate the world. We broke away from England and financial banking cartels and founded this country. And everybody's waiting. And there will never be another country as free as this. Buy food. Find a way to protect it. Make a plan with your friends and family. Spend what little time there, there is left. Getting prepared, you guys. If you think a lot of people need to hear this video, thumbs it up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the farther it will go. That's YouTube algorithm. The more interaction, the higher it will rank, the more people it will be featured to. All the new Patreons, from the order you signed up, I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'll come through and get to you one at a time before I go to sleep again. And I don't know if you can tell, I haven't got much sleep. I was up till 3 in the morning with the Patreons, and then I was up again at, at 7 with the kids. I, I haven't had much sleep. I'm going to have to catch up on it sometime. As far as fear porn, yeah, I think it's time for that. Now, as we move forward with this, I am going to need you on board. I am going to need you to be a buffer. I am going to need you to be a digital wall that plows through the disinformation, BS, trolls, distractions, I am going to need you to be my digital brick wall and we are going to slam through anything that tries to get this off track. And this is not going to be some fear porn campaign. This is going to be, I'll just say history lessons. 
I am going to meet with somebody on the curriculum. And hopefully, once I meet with this person about the curriculum, and I have a higher level of knowledge, I've been promised that there is going to be ground-breaking informational videos coming from this channel. So you are not about to get a ranting, raving John X Army. That is nowhere in the plan. This hopefully is the last fear porn type thing. From now on, what little time's left, we have to get all the facts lined up in a row. We have to present them in, in a way that is better than I have ever presented information before. That's what we have to do. That's what I have to do. And my Patreons have been helping. They've been working in the background decoding information. Um, I've been taking notes. I've spent four hours now. Brother, please don't take this the wrong way, but they are fear farming, seeding. I don't care about what little money I have. I care about all of us. Take care and you know where to contact me. All right, let's address that, that, that comment. Today, I said in the John X Army chat room to the Patreons, I said, you guys, what if I'm wrong? What if this great person came out of the shadows, this wealthy man who has all this information, what if he came out of the shadows to start a fear campaign to influence the future? What if he wants to use John X Army as a tool to spread fear and negativity and predictive programming kind of create the reality put it in people's subconscious mind that this is what's going to happen and then only make it happen life will soon be passed only what's done for christ will last link me asterisk so what the the conclusion we came to is two things this is not going to be a negative fear porn campaign and this was me and all the Patreons. We're in the chat room discussing this piece by piece. This is not going to be a fear porn campaign. This is not going to touch on negativity. We are not going to talk about... Get some more food for your family, bro. Thank you. Thank everybody for the donations. Thank you. This is not going to be a fear porn campaign. This is not going to be a rant session. This is going to be important information that is going to come through the pipeline to you. So every time I get a lesson, you will get a lesson. And the lesson is not, we're not going to talk about the bad things that are coming and, and, and the bad things that could happen. We need to teach as many people as possible. The only thing that needs to be said in every video is you need to have food and a way to protect your food. Because you really have to stop and think about it. What is going to happen after there's been no food for four weeks. I don't think you can imagine that. Humans are going to Nighty be... Beaver already figured out the system. You got to watch his videos on YouTube. I'll tell you who I think's got it figured out. You're going to hate I keep plugging him. Richie from Boston, man. Jesus, all his content makes sense. I understand why he's a freaking jerk now. I get it. I get it. He has no time for the BS. He has no time for the moon got hit by an asteroid. He has no time to chase um, BS clicks. He, he has no time for it. I get it now because he knows. He knows what they're about to do. And he's preparing. And he's telling everybody else to get prepared. So I have just... You guys know how I always say... When a master says something and you don't get it or you think they're crazy and then later on you grow into that information, that's how you know that person's a master. The past two days, Richie from Boston's Everything finally made sense. If you watch him and you think he's out there, when you get to where I just got, it's like pfft, they're going to depopulate the planet. Like, for real. Like, it's going to be worse than... It's going to be the worst atrocity done by man 
in recorded history what is coming. And they're all part of it. Every single one of them. When the stocks crash, they know. Get out. They have houses in Israel. They have houses in Venezuela. They have houses everywhere all over the world. And as soon as that stock market goes, they're gone. Or they're in bunkers here. Or they go underground here. They're going to leave us to rot through the winter with no power and no food. And then a foreign enemy is going to take control. Remember all those FEMA coffins? I need to share this and mirror it for you, brother. Yeah, I don't care. Go for it. Go for it. Um, chat disconnected. Are you guys still hearing me? Now, out of the whole internet, the only research I have been able to find that comes close at all to what I think's going down. Um, I'm disconnected from chat. I will put a link in the description. And I'm leaving this video up. This video is not coming down. This is the only thing I've been able to find that at all... I am unable to get into Super Chat. Please help me. Uh, you got into Super Chat. Okay, so for the $5 Patreons, there, if you scroll like all the way down, there's a link to the chat room. And if you can't figure it out on your own, when, when I'm off live, I will come to you one by one in the order you signed up, and I will make sure you get the link. There's like 90 spots left. And then we might have to start a new, uh, a Not new chat, but it'll be empty. Nostradamus, the Bible, planetary charts. And other sources pointing out this is last pope and next is antichrist america is the virgin that will be uh, sacrificed uh, okay here's what i believe this has not been told to me this is what i believe i believe here's what i believe from this is my speculation now this is nothing anyone said to me i believe that we're gonna see stocks collapse we are going to see a fake alien invasion. Truthers and people with big voices who will wake the masses up if the grid hasn't went down yet are going to be rounded up in the middle of the night and who knows what happens to them. And they're going to have the fake alien invasion and everybody's going to believe not it. not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him. The grid is, is able to destroy both soul and body. Prepare your soul. The grid is going to go down and it's going to be blamed on aliens. They're going to say there's a space war. You know, Trump's space force. There's a reason there's a space force. Okay. It's to deceive you. They're going to say that aliens attacked us and that's why the grid's down. And when they say that, boy, you better never believe it if you saw this video. You better. So anyway, they're going to depopulate the world. The first third of Americans are going to starve to death, freeze to death, be killed by each other. By the time we're cold and weary, they're going to move in the foreign forces. By the time they're done with us, some people are going to be prisoners. Some are going to be in FEMA camps. Some are going to be getting trained away on FEMA trains to the coffins and the guillotine. They're going to they're gonna lure people in. Hey, turn in your guns. Bring us guns. We'll give you food. You, you hungry? You tired? Come here. They're going to chip you up with your identity. They're going to put a chip in you. You're going to be so hungry and so scared and so tired of battle in the street that you're going to want to just say, forget it. My kids are going to die. My kids are going to die if I, don't, if I don't take my family up here and go get this food. You can't do it. You can't do it. You're going to... Don't do it. I mean, it seems like the whole world 
knows what's about to happen. You know one thing I've thought about? Comments I used to read that I thought China were... China is the next superpower with concentration camps killing Christians and Islamists. Alike, they will crash our economy to usher in their new world order currency. They're going to crash the whole world. They're going to... Everybody's going down. The whole economy's going down, ladies and gentlemen. Um, They're going to... They're going to depopulate. And all that this person has said, they are going to do it in the most horrific, horrific, unimaginable way. I was literally told, you cannot, your mind isn't evil enough to comprehend what's about to happen. And I believe him. I believe him. 100%. I believe it. You can call me crazy. You can do whatever you want. But... My last few months, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I will. <laughs> I would love to sit back on my government pension and raise a little baby girl into a beautiful, amazing woman. I would love that, okay? And that I hope. I hope that's the future. You know what I mean? But if it's not, I'm not going to waste a minute. I'm going to get everybody prepared. And what's it hurt? I'm not selling you anything. Go buy food. Go find a way to protect it. Six months. You need six months worth of food if you plan to make it. Six months. The predictive program has been everywhere. Mars attacks, Jericho, um... Matter of fact, somebody was just teaching me some, some stuff about Mars Attacks, about the year it was made, minus from this year, the date it was made, the cast who's in it. Um, they actually recommended that I, I watch that movie tonight. Watch that movie with open eyes. Uh, prepare myself for a deception. Prepare myself for what's about to happen. Watch Mars Attacks. Um, so the fear porn's over it's time to start putting out real knowledge dangerous knowledge right now i don't believe i'm a target i don't believe they have their eye on me i don't believe they're oh we're, we got to take that john x army out no i'm not on the radar and you know why because i've been all over the place aliens demons night vision streams uh fema uh you name it I've hit on it, probably been wrong. Oh yeah, we love that John X Army guy. Yeah, he'll get everybody all confused. Cause he's, he don't know what's going on. How's he have a truther channel? He has no clue what's going on. Yeah, well now I, I got wind of what's going on. I'm coming. This channel's about to change. I just spent $2,351 on food and water purification thanks to you. Thank you. Six months for two people, all vegan. Yeah. Good job, man. Good job. See, what can it hurt to be prepared? You know what I mean? I'm not selling you crypto. I'm not selling you stocks. I'm not, I'm not even pushing gold and silver on you. Get food and weapons. I'm getting, you guys can tell I'm getting hyped up. I, I, I lost track. We're, oh, we're going to what I think is the closest representation about what's about to happen. Um, some of you guys may have seen me post this on Patreon, and then I ended up posting it on YouTube after I reread it. This is the only thing online that is truly striking a chord with the information I have received. Not that. This is the only thing that comes close to being right. <sighs> so let's browse through it. Let me blow it up. The link's in the description if you want to check it out after. If The Economist 1988 and now 2019 warnings are correct, then we are almost out of time. In these, look... In these 33 days, between October 10th and November 11th, with a global reset date of November 11th, we now learn the reset includes a worldwide blackout. 
Do you know why? I think because of the new cover. We now know the reset includes everybody's going down. I'd imagine they're going to say aliens took out our infrastructure. Time is running out to prepare. If The Economist magazine's forewarnings of 1988 and 2019 are correct, John, John G. Winkman, the greatest wealth transfer, theft, crime, genocide, and societal collapse in all of history is about to take place while everyone is asleep. I've made three prior posts. Beware the 15th, the 10th of October, and beware of the 11th of November on Silver Doctors regarding three likely dates that the reset may occur on. In 2018, based on the Economist magazine cover of January 1988 and its forewarning that we should get ready for a world currency in 2018, I'm not selling anything, including fear porn. I've done this for one reason, because my 20 years of searching for truth has led me to many important quotes, dots, and when connecting these, reveal the truth. But these in particular prompted me to share my knowledge with you. All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. Galio. Gali. Um, Gandhi. There is no God higher than truth. Buddha. There are two mistakes one can make along the road to truth. Not going all the way and not starting. I don't know who this is. The search for truth is man's noblest endeavor. It's a publication, a duty. Uh, when was this posted? Yesterday. Today, October 17th, the internet is abuzz with the statement made in Stephen Hawking's just released final book, There Is No God, and that humans will live in space. This, I believe, is utter nonsense. Promoted by the deranged, what's this? Eth atheistic Luciferians that currently run the world. I believe, however, Hawking did say one thing that is true. The greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance. It is the illusion of knowledge. Right? That's me. That's me, right? That's me making these YouTube videos for the past two years. I know what's going on. I'm woke. I'm woke. I know what's happening. I had no freaking clue. Everything I made, almost, maybe a handful of videos, utter nonsense that was a distraction from my mind to keep me looking over there while they shipped the guillot guillotines across the ocean while they went and inventoried the FEMA coffins while they made sure everything was in place I'm researching freaking aliens I don't even know where I was at. Oh yeah, this article. As previously stated, August 15th and October 10th has come and gone without the reset happening, leaving now only November 11th, the importance of which was explained in prior articles for that. We read those on my stream. Event to take place according to my prediction. Let's recap the important events that took place on their important dates August 15th, October 10th, prior to their coming planned reset. As previously shown in prior post, August 15th, the reset did not occur. U.S. dollar peaked at 96.98. On that exact date, see chart below, while gold abruptly bottomed at 11.60.73 at 8 p.m. on that exact date, the U.S. dollar has not taken out that peak and is about to fall off its right shoulder. If you are a technical chartist, see below, while gold moved higher and is getting ready to show the world that it is still the proven go-to tangible asset that stores wealth um, forever, unlike their U.S. dollar, which after already losing 98% of its value is headed to ash bin like all other prior paper fiat currencies in the past 1,000 years. And anyone that believes in the so-called fiat cryptocurrencies can be, can be any less fraudulent as money than our paper fiat fractional reserve currency is completely delusional as history will come to show now let's review what happened on october 10th of october regarding my article posted on september 23rd beware of the 10th of october although the reset did not happen on this date three important events did happen 
The stock market took a significant dive with the Dow going down 831 points for its third largest loss in history, while the NASDAQ lost more than 4% today. October 17th should be it for the dead cat bounce. Next up, watch out below. Hurricane Michael makes landfall in Florida Panhandle as Category 4 hurricane, where just a few hours before it was a Category 1. I believe weather modification, or a, a, appropriately weather warfare, played a role in this devastating event, as has been done in prior hurricanes. I believe to attack and destroy our country from within. What have I been telling you guys about that American who went over to Germany or Russia, Russia? The American went over to Russia and he found out that Russians, it's common knowledge. Every citizen, every average Joe knows you can pay for weather, but the, the UN's rules are you are only allowed to modify the weather, weather in your country. You can pay for hurricanes and tsunamis and you can, there's companies you can buy rain from. There's companies, there's governments you can buy disasters from, but you can't use them on other countries. It's eye-opening. We've talked about this. We've talked about that American called the FBI from um, Russia and said, why is any American that says weather warfare is real? Why are they considered a conspiracy theorist? The rest of the world knows it. You don't. I don't. Americans are the ones that don't have a freaking clue what's going on. And they don't care to. They're going to walk to FEMA watching NFL. They would, but the power is going to go down, so they're not going to be able to. But if the power was on, you better believe they're standing in line at FEMA watching football. Watching Instagram. You better believe it. You know it. The whole line will be full of zombies on their phone. But the power is going to be off, so that's not going to happen. Um, where was I? I'm distracting myself. I want to get through this article and move on. We have learned that Tyndall Air Force Base was completely destroyed by Hurricane Michael. The New York Times, Tyndall is home to 55 F-22 stealth fighters, which cost a dizzying $339 million each. Before the storm, the Air Force sent at least 33, look at that, strike a chord with anybody, of the fighters to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. Air Force officials have not disclosed the whereabouts of the remaining 22 planes other than to say that a number of aircraft were left at the base because of maintenance or safety reasons. An Air Force spokeswoman, Major Melinda Singleton, would not confirm that any of the aircraft left behind were F-22s. If you've read prior articles, you have seen many references in the number 33. Wherever you see in print 33, anywhere, it's their hidden message to their brethren. Where these 33 jets with afterburners uses to change direction or intensity of this hurricane, utilizing the U.S. patent mentioned in my prior post. Read the quotes below. A serious investigation should be undertaken immediately. Are we being attacked from within while we are asleep? Kind of lost me right there a little bit. Raptor with afterburners ignited. Weapons of war, like history, doesn't exactly repeat itself. Do we know who are flying our military jets? If we were attacked tomorrow by drones that we have imported, would we know who and where in what country the controllers of these drones would be? The Times of Israel, Israeli pilots train over southern U.S. Israel is the world's largest exporter of drones. I didn't know that. I missed that the first time I read this. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations submitted her resignation on October 10th to President Trump, shown in the last article. Refer to the 33-second video in Beware the 11th of November article. Bush's announcement of the coming planned New World Order to be headed up by the United Nations. Obviously, Haley was asked to step aside by December 31st, 2018 to make way for their chosen one to head up this planned New World Order that was called for by President Bush as shown in the 33-second video, and more recently by Jesuit Pope Francis. 
What are the chances that Barack Obama will be the new ambassador to the UN for this coming NWO? Effective January 1st, 2019. Thank you for your service to humanity. Thank you for the donation. Now let's look at the Rothschild-owned Economist magazine cover for their 33rd special edition. The world in 2019, done in all black, with white lettering. Duality, white and black, the pillars of duality, blackout. You better buckle up. You better go buy food. You better go buy food. You better go buy food. Can they be any more descriptive of what the world in 2019 will look like? This is clear and ominous. Forewarning, we are about to go black in 2019. After they give us the new world currency in 2018, after destroying the dollar as revealed in the 1988 cover, are we about to see a blackout in 11 weeks from now? Or possibly sooner? Like 11-11, 2018? 11, 11, 11, 33. To me, it looks like they forgot to add their subtitle on the cover. Get ready for darkness. Get ready for darkness. As inconceivable as it is to me and to you, it's not to the rest of the world. You have to remember, there are people without electricity in half of the world. You have to remember, huge amounts of our world are war-torn and suffering. And I believe the world's elite have decided that it's our turn. And that there will never be another free country like America again. Unless we change it. Unless we can wake up a mass amount of people, which we could, we could. If everybody watching attacked this passionately and got other people to attack it passionately, passionately, we could change what's coming. Because we're about to enter a new time of heroes. Here, men are going to turn into heroes. Women are going to turn into heroes here in this country. And you need to prepare yourself mentally to be one. Each and every one of you. Because you, you guys with the freaking knowledge, who've researched so much shit on the internet, you don't even know what's true anymore, you are going to shine. You are Why going. Why is the number 33 so important? Freemasonry. It's because Zionists killed Jesus when he was 33 years old. Yeah, it's. You're Bobby right. John and everyone else on this chat. Don't forget to let me into Super Chat. Yeah, it's not Super Chat. You mean the X Army chat room? Yes, I will. Um, I lost my train of thought. You guys are the ones who are going to know what's going on. You are going to be the leaders of your communities, the leaders of your households. You are the ones that are not going to believe the presidential alert right before the lights go out. We have been invaded by aliens or whatever they do. Whatever they do. You're the ones that are going to read the presidential alert and you're going to know it's nonsense. You're going to know whatever you hear is wrong it's not true it's disinfo this was done by high ranking people in your government and high ranking people in banks and governments of the world you're gonna know this was done to you and we might have to pass that on for years and years because it's it's gonna get worse before it gets better there's going to be camps and there's going to be chips and there's going to be ushering in the NWO and the global currency and maybe the Antichrist. That stuff's going to play out too. All everybody knows now. We are out of time. I'm talking about we might not have three months from what I'm hearing. 
And let me tell you, let me go, go on the record with something else. I talk to a lot of freaking crazy people. And I talk to a lot of people that when I hang up the phone, oh my, that dude was out of his mind. Oh God, let me, don't answer. Let me change the number to don't answer. He's freaking crazy. I know crazy. And the person I, I validated, I checked him out. I made sure he was who he said he was chilled me to my core terrified me not on purpose he was john x army look listen buddy you want to be a idiot or you want to save a bunch of freaking people you got to choose right now there's no more time what do you want to do you're probably going to die either way how do you want to die? You want to die a fat, greedy, ad, ad revenue chasing scumbag, or you want to die a hero? You know, our petrol price has gone up. Our interest rate has gone up and our Aussie dollar has dropped. It has already started in Australia, folks. Thank you for the donation. I want to prepare as many people as possible. And today, about 65 people commented on my spam post as I was at the grocery store buying spam. There's 65 lives. That Have are you seen the video weather and water weaponized? I can't get into the Patreon chat. Please help. Yes, I will have to, if you can't get, try copy pasting the link in the app you downloaded to access the X Army chat room. If that doesn't work, then you have to wait on me. I'll add you manually when I get off stream. Um, I lost my train of thought. Let's, let's finish this article because this article is the closest thing I can find to the information I am being told. And that's why this article is so significant. It needs, this is a good article. Um, does this mean the power grid is going to be turned off via a fake EMP? knowing the winter months would be prime time to do such a heinous act. How many of you, how many people have emailed me and said, you know somebody in the military that told you it's going down this winter? Two today. Two today. Two pe And I've read your emails to my close friends, by the way. But overall, the past six months, maybe 15 or 20 people have emailed me and said, my brother or my uncle or my dad or my husband's in the army. He said it's going to happen during the winter months. Everybody knows but the common man what's coming. And I think that this article doesn't say it, but I think they're going to do a fake alien invasion to knock out the power and blame it on aliens. I might be wrong, so don't... I'm speculating, you guys. Um, or just our cell phones and internet so we can't communicate nor organize. I fully expect President Trump will send us a second presidential FEMA alert like I had previously mentioned right before they pull the plug and we go black informing us that we have been attacked by aliens which I believe is the plan. Oh! Now let me tell you I haven't even read that paragraph of this article. I have not... I. I swear to you, you know how I am, guys. I'm so freaking busybody, I scroll through things. I scrolled through and caught all the key points. I didn't know that story was going where it went right now. I would suggest anyone reading this article to watch tonight on Video Demand, the movie released 22, 11 years ago, titled Mars Attacks. Yes, I got that information too. If you guys don't know... The movie Mars Attacks is passed around in conspiracy theory circles. It's like something to do with like their satanic Hollywood cult. They supposedly made actors play in the movie and... How quickly we forget how normal that Tuesday morning was on 9-11. I hope everyone is taking provisions for the unthinkable. Thank you for the donation. They... The... I've been told numerous times to watch Mars Attacks because it's their secret satanic plan. 
That movie's like a satanic ritual. It's about a fake alien invasion, but it's going to show you what's, what's about to happen. I have been told that by numerous people. Okay, so that, that's not new, but you should definitely check it out. I'm going to watch it tonight. I'm going to re-watch it. Why so many top actors in this occult flick? This is a phony reason plan why President Trump signed an executive order on June 18, 2018, creating Space Force to become the sixth branch of the military. After all, we couldn't have an alien invasion where we go black without a force to create it, right? Note that the date of the film's release is December 13, 22, which is 11-11 years ago, this coming December 13. Hmm. All this talk recently about how President Donald Trump is going to arrest the deep state criminals, including the Clintons soon, through their 30,000 or whatever number of sealed indictments, is nothing more than rubbish, a fraud and a lie. He had more than a year to address these treasonous acts, and he has failed miserably by not acting, because they're all in on it. As will soon become abundantly clear, because ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. What they plan on instead is to turn the lights out and arrest, behead, the Christians, the conservatives, the patriots, the constitutionalists, and anyone not willing to take the pledge to the Luciferian pledge going into their NWO. That's what we're talking about. This article is probably right. This article has only got 3,000 views. should have a million. It really should have a million. This article, you guys, this should have a million views. What they are about to do is de-Christianize America, just like they did during the Reign of Terror in 1789 to 1794 in France. And the Bolsheviks did 100 years ago in Russia. Hey, my Patreons, research Reign of Terror, 1789, 1794 in France, research that for me. Research Balkovis did a hundred years ago in Russia. Research that. You will see it here talking about in America. Doubt it. Not in 2019 when they go black. I'll repeat my title of this article. Beware, time is running out to prepare. If The Economist Magazine's forewarnings of 1988 and 2019 are correct, once we go black, we can't go back to being able to prepare. Thanks for reading. More informative links. The documentary Unknowledged by Dr. Stephen Greer absolutely explains the technology behind the fake alien invasion. Werner Von Braun spoke of this. God, this is a great article. Actually. Got some great quotes at the end of it. I'm not, I'm not going to read them. Oh, it goes on and on with market analysis. It goes on and on, you guys. Um, let me tell you guys something. The mantra, ah, uh, never mind. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. It's for another video. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. I apologize for even starting it. I'm not gonna say it. All right. I've been live an hour. This just took about all the energy out of me that I have today. Um, I got to get to work. And fear porn's not going to do it. Sounding like a crazy conspiracy theorist, raising the red flag, the alarm. It's just nonsense. It's something to laugh at for people. It's not going to wake anybody up. We got to hit them with research. And I think we need to start with those points that I just asked the Patreons to look up. We have to hit them with research. We have to wake them up quick. And we all have to buy food and ammunition. And hopefully I'm wrong. And hopefully it's not true. And hopefully nothing happens and I look like a freaking fool. I'll take it. I'm tough. I'm so tough. You know what I mean? I don't care what anybody thinks of me. I know I'm a good person, you know? So hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm a fool. Hopefully... It doesn't happen, but I think we all know it's about to. I think we all know. That's why you're all here, because you know. You can feel it. And like I said, 
not this is not a fear porn campaign. It, it, I I'll quit before I let it become that. Just on the s- slim fact, I don't want to spread fear and panic and create a negative future off the fear and the panic. I don't want that at all. That is just as might might as well do nothing. I'd rather do nothing than make it worse. Do you see what I'm saying? So maybe if we, if we, yes, me and the people I work with on Patreon. Do I have to be a monthly patron to get your inside information chats? Yeah. Yeah. And not, not because of a shill attempt. Just because I owe them. I feel as I owe them. They're paying me and they're supporting me through Patreon. I feel like if somebody should have my time and my ear... It should be them. Because I'm not a scumbag. Because I'm not a shill. Because I've welcomed each and every one of each and every one of them. And I go through my messages from each and every one of them every day before I go to bed. And I, I help and I answer questions and I address their problems. So that's not a shill attempt at all. It's I owe them something. And that's how I pay. With my time with with any way I can so that's how I feel about that um, yeah I think that's all I have for right now I am open to emails and ideas on ideas on how to reach people without me being a raving lunatic that gets nowhere so I think we need to make a plan the problem is I'm still kind of in the dark, okay? Supposedly, this meeting is going to open my eyes and I am going to be presented factual information that can be verified, that can be repeated. Um, and I don't have much time and we got to get a bunch of videos out really quick. So I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go meet with them. What do I got to lose, right? I don't have anything to lose. Not if what's coming is true. We have the future to gain. We got to take our world back. And the first step in doing that is being prepared because it's it, we're out of time. It's too late. Right now, go get food while it's on the shelf. By December, it probably won't be there. By Christmas, this might be a different place completely. By the end of 2019, it's going to be a different world, you guys. By the end of 2019, it's going to be a completely different world. Thank you very much for the donation. I'm going to buy spam with it. Funny thing is, some of you watch and think I'm playing. Do you know how stupid I felt? The cashier rang up all that spam. I wanted to tell her. I almost did. Um, I almost told her, yo. And then I looked around. I looked around the grocery store. I seen uh, this younger. Uh, he was a real nice black man. I seen him with shopping carts full of pop. Well, I mean, like full. Like you can tell he either runs like a little store or or he has some vending machines. And uh, I wanted to walk up to him and I wanted to say, I have information I believe is true. That in the next few months, our country is going to fall apart. And the grid's going to go down. And man, remember I told you this. Go buy a case of spam. And even though it sounds crazy, dude. Don't ever forget, I told you to go get a case of Spam. That's what I wanted to say, but what type of weirdo walks up to strangers and, and says something like that? People are going to think I've lost my mind. People are going to think I'm absolutely crazy. That's okay. That's okay. Okay.